Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Northshark Computer Services and today I'd like to show you a hard drive that I think has uh, heads stuck on a platter. Uh, the reason I know that is from the noise that it makes. If we plug it in You can hear the beeping noise, that's basically the motor is trying to start the platters and it can't. And it's most likely because uh, the heads are stuck um, on a platter. It does happen occasionally, I have seen it. Uh, it could also be that the bearing is stuck, uh, is seized and platters are not turning. You'd get the same noise. So. For this one, we would need to open this hard drive. Now, this hard drive does not have much of anything that's important on it, so we don't have to use any clean room or anything, and uh, I'm sure it's going to work uh, once we get the heads unstuck. So we'll just take the screws out. There is one more screw hidden somewhere beneath the label. Just kind of feel it and get under it. Okay, we'll Let's get a screwdriver here. Get it pried open. All right. So. As we can see, the heads are stuck on a platter. Um, I'm not sure why this would happen, but I have seen this happen several times. So, how do we get the heads off the platter and into the park position? Okay. The best thing to do is turn the platter so let's see, we can use our trusty screwdriver and it's not going to like it. Oba! Alright, so the heads are off. Most likely this hard drive will start and uh, it will most likely work. There is some uh, dust particles on the drive, on the platters. Um, I'm not too concerned about those because once the hard drive starts spinning, uh, it'll centrifugal force will get rid of those uh, particles and uh, before the head actually starts moving onto the hard drive. Now, heads do seem to be stuck on a hard drive as if they're glued. Um, reason for that is because the head surface is polished extremely smooth. Hard drive surface is polished extremely smooth. Uh, it's, uh, if you have two surfaces that are very smooth, they get stuck on each other. Alright, we'll check on our computer. We'll plug in our adapter, SATA to USB right. and as you can see the hard drive is mounting I don't hear the beeping noises there it is, scanning I'll just cancel that there you go. 
the hard drive is working okay uh, do not be afraid to open a hard drive if it's uh, if it's not critical I'd say if, if you have a million dollar business uh, that's on the hard drive and uh, it's probably best to leave it to people who can give you some kind of insurance um, I've done this so many times uh, it seems to be working just fine but if you only have personal stuff and if it's while you're opening it or, or while you're moving the heads off the platter you accidentally damage them you're not going to hit your head over with whatever and say why did I do this you probably want to take it to a lab uh, but if you have a hard drive that's making that noise you haven't used it for God knows how long and uh, it's just something on there that you might want to use well go ahead and open it you're not going to damage it I've seen some people on YouTube saying that you have to have uh, these screws to specific torque uh, I think it's baloney as long as you get them tight um, the hard drive will work so as you can see the hard drive is working in fact I can put it back into a computer and it'll work just fine um, I do not trust opened hard drives if I have opened it I would never use it as a primary hard drive I could use it as a backup hard drive um, basically if it if it contains a second copy of something that I have I'm okay yeah, that, you know I can use this hard drive but uh, overall maybe for testing purposes the hard drive is okay um, maybe for um, playing purposes but never ever as a primary hard drive that runs your computer so once you open the hard drive be sure it will not work the same as it did uh, when it was assembled at the factory um, or um, you know brand new hard drive so I hope this uh, was informative and helpful and uh, as always have a good day